Good morning, guys. Um, time check. It's 3.56. Um, I praise God for giving us this time to come before His Holy Throne to pray and um, share to you what I understand about the first uh, His first words or first face in the seven um, last words or what we call the Shete Palabras. So, uh, before we proceed, let's come before the Lord in prayer. Most gracious and heavenly Father, we thank you so much, Lord, for who you are and what you have done in our lives. We come before you today, Lord God, um, asking for forgiveness for the things that we have done wrong in our words, in our actions, and in our thoughts, Lord. We, we thank you for the love that you've given us through your Son, Jesus. And Lord, we... We acknowledge, Lord God, that we have been saved through the crucifixion of Jesus Christ. And Lord, as we start our day, Lord God, with a um, with the sharing of your word, Lord, I pray that you will just override us, Lord, override our, our preparation, and you just bless our time, give us the discernment and wisdom, Lord, to just say the words that you want us to say and understand the things that you want us to understand. We We ask the power of the Holy Spirit to guide us all the way. This we pray in Jesus' name. Amen. So, uh, I'm be the one to share to you guys the first word or phrase that Jesus Christ spoke um, upon, his resurrect, uh, upon, upon his crucifixion. And that is found in Luke chapter 23, verse 34. It says, And Jesus said, Father, forgive them, for they don't know what they do so first and foremost guys let me just inform you or let us all be aware that this is a statement or a prayer of Jesus to his father so this is not just any ordinary prayer but this is a a for me an unselfish prayer this is not a prayer because um, Jesus Christ want something for himself but it is for the people and um, also with that we have to understand that as a first part of his prayer he addressed God as his father and addressing God as a father shows a relationship a son and father relationship that is built through trust, confidence, and endearment. Another part of of that prayer is he asked his father to forgive them. So, to whom Jesus Christ um, does he refer? I mean, does he refer to? The them. So them was referred to all the people, including the soldiers, the uh, Pontius Pilate, the priests, even the scribes, the Pharisees, and the Sadducees, and more importantly, um, them means or represents you and I. So that's them then why did Jesus Christ ask the father to forgive them his reason is because they do not know what they are doing what does this mean you might wonder in spite of what Jesus Christ did to his people a lot of those people there were present during his crucifixion and many or majority of those people there witnessed how Jesus Christ um, did all the miracles. You know, curing of the blind, um, curing of the, lep uh, of the leper, the crippled, even resurrecting the dead. But in spite of those things that Jesus Christ did, they still chose to, you know, crucify him and even replace to even set um, Barnabas free. Barnabas, Barabbas, Barabbas. 
So, why did Jesus say, we don't know what we are doing? Well, Jesus meant about us not understanding the gravity or the magnitude of our sins. That a lot of people there, if they choose to sin, they are not just sinning um, their physical um, body, but the wages of their sin is going to be spiritual death or eternal death. That is what Jesus Christ um, saw and doesn't want to happen to his people and he's praying to the Father to spare them from the eternal death. That's why he asked, he begged for mercy from his Father to forgive these people. And if we are going to uh, refer to um, the Lord's Prayer, when Jesus Christ said, Forgive us our trespasses, forgive us our death, forgive us our sins, as we forgive those who sin against us, as we forgive as we forgive those our debtors, as we um, forgive those who trespass against us. It means to say, Jesus asked the Father to forgive us, meaning to cancel the debt, to forgive all the sins, to really give pardon on His behalf. So that's how Jesus Christ, you know, wanted us to be saved and be forgiven and um, as jesus begins the last phase of his life dying on the cross hung between earth and heaven he prays for all of us who put him there he calls out to his father without any shame at the intimacy of his love and the authenticity of his sonship he said father forgive them so brothers this is also our prayer that we may pray to our father father forgive us so as i end this prayer let's uh just uh remember who jesus christ is and what he has done for us so why don't we close in prayer Let's pray. Father God, we thank you, Lord, for this message. We thank you for Jesus' unselfish prayer. We thank you that you have forgiven us through his death. And we thank you that you have helped us realize the magnitude, the gravity of our sin. And that is eternal death. Thank you for sparing us from eternal death, for forgiving us, for canceling our debt through your son, Jesus. Lord, we pray that you'll continue to guide us, Lord, as we go along with this um, Siete Palabras activity, Lord. We want to dedicate this time to you as we remember what you have done for us, Lord. This we pray and ask in Jesus' name. Amen. Thank you so much, guys, and have a blessed Holy Week.